Hi guys, very good morning to you. Uh, welcome to the video number 304 and uh, in this video we are going to uh, see that how you can actually create a simple lead management calendar using the data validation, right? And uh, this I'm actually taking the, uh, taking it up because um, I got a question from Surinder, uh, one of my subscribers and uh, he has sent out me the this excel file and as you can see here uh, the question is uh, hello sir i want uh, restricted restrictions with only two pls for a particular day system should not accept more than uh, two pls in one day uh, pl by the way it means that you know paid leave uh, so he has uh, written actually all these uh, different different leaves over here uh, paid leave sick leave and then i guess this is a plan leave and this is a casual leave right now the task which we want to do is um so he has already given me this format so obviously uh, i'm not going to suggest you any other format uh, generally i you know uh, what you can do is you can uh, also make a leave management calendar using the excel vba user forms that is absolutely very classy and maybe in the coming uh, videos i will talk about that but right now uh, this is a very simple excel and uh, in this uh, excel database a very simple database you can see here guys uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to actually uh, ensure that for the 1st of January and then 2nd of January and uh, or I mean these are all the different different dates I believe this is the 1st December this is the 2nd December 3rd December and so on so what we need is uh, anytime if I write here let's say PL and then I anytime I write a PL and if I try to write again one more PL for the Amit then it should not <coughs> allow me as you can see here <coughs> it gives me the prompt the value doesn't match the data validation so i actually have put the restriction and i'll tell you uh, how we can do that and at the same time this message also we will like to change it uh, we will modify the message and we will say that uh, uh, the pls are already filled you cannot apply please reach out to your manager right so sort of that now uh, when i receive this file actually uh, i did one change uh, surinder uh, i i saw that you have put the data validation here which is this one you go to the data and then in the data validation uh, this is what actually the user has done so i just want to show you guys um, a1 to a4 let me go to the list i want to make an actual drop down so this is how his uh, excel was originally i mean let me copy and uh, paste it everywhere like this so basically uh, what i have done uh, now you have given the drop downs to the user so that they can select you know uh, everything from here but what i want is you uh, shouldn't do that because the thing which i'm going to tell you that is not going to be applied in these drop downs so remove the drop downs keep it simple excel so if you i select the entire table i go to the data validation and in the data validation you say clear all now there is no data validation right now what we want to do is that uh, every time when the user writes here PL, you, I mean these are the indications so nobody uh, should misspell it because this is also, uh, you have given already the the how actually somebody, if they want to apply for the lease, you know, which format, how, how they want to actually write it. So I think you should put here, uh, uh, you know, kind of uh, note also that please use the same format, please use the same. Um, format in the in terms of the spellings right okay now what we want to do um, now you see uh, there is a function in excel called countif right for example guys if i write here pl and i write here pl and i write here sl and then pl one more time and then maybe p and then you know sort of this stuff now we want that uh, every time when we have the date uh, for that for each particular date you know when the pl count goes above Two, we should be prompted user should be prompted actually and he should he or she should not be allowed to do that so what you need to do you use the counting function in the counting function this is my range and this is my criteria so I'm going to write here uh, in this range I want to count PL okay so then when you press enter what will happen you will get the count of four right now you don't want to give this count above two but how you gonna put that what exactly which feature excel you know is uh, we can actually tell that uh, uh, basically the count of this never has to be greater than two right so that we can actually tell our data validation 
data validation has this feature okay this is i just wanted to explain you that we're going to use the count if function by the way guys if you don't have any clue about what is a count if function if you're a beginner please go to my playlist we have got 42 different playlists and 304 videos on excel excel vba access and access vba when you scroll it down here you would see all these different categories which has the beginner level videos and advanced level videos okay so find out here a playlist uh, which says excel count and sum family i've talked about those count if sum if count if sum if you know functions in very much detail and also of course from the very beginning level right so now what we need to do is uh, guys you simply do one thing you just select this range like i have selected this entire range right now it's totally blank go to the data validation and in the data validation generally people know data data validation you know uh, for this list word people think that data validation is all about creating the drop downs but <laughs> it is not that it's a very powerful feature for example you can also put the formula here custom okay formula now look at this word allow this is very important this makes sense to us right allow what do you want to allow well i want to allow this output count if you select your table which is from d3 to d8 okay and then in this range what you want to uh, what you want to count is you want to count pl okay and you want to ensure that its count should always be less than equals to 2 okay and uh, freeze this part d3 and d8 very important so this is how guys you need to actually you know develop this okay and uh, by the way you can also i think uh, remove the dollar from the d i'll tell you the reason because when when you are going to copy this to the right side this d3 to d8 will automatically changes to the e3 to e8 if you freeze it then you will have to edit it in every range i'm talking about e range f range g h i every range right now this is fine but what uh, what we want is uh, we go in the error alert by default it is always stop keep the option stop if you want to prevent the user if you if you give the option like information or warning then what will happen uh, instead of the retry button you will get the button called ok so user can enter i mean you will be able to provide the information that you can't select the pl but at the same time if user selects ok he will be she will be able to enter it so that's why I keep it stop guys okay i'll just show you in a moment now title is uh, whatever you want to write um, you can write here good day all right but i hope that if the leave is not going to be approved then certainly i think uh, won't be a good day for a person but then you can't help it right because you have to go by the management rules all right so uh, you can write here that um, uh, quota quota for pls is already done for the day okay reach out to your manager for further clarification maybe whatever i mean you want to write right so i have just used this kind of a prompt and i press okay perfect now when you're going to send this file to somebody uh, what will happen if i write here pl let's say or maybe i think the idea should be that you should put it on the server on the ftp or shared drive where everybody can access it okay because uh, sending it to everybody uh, they they won't be able to know that what are the changes happening okay you need to uh, say, uh, you know keep this file on the ftp path and uh, you need to tell your people that whenever they apply for the leave immediately they close it right well um, you can also program the things that uh, after every one minute once the workbook is open it should be immediately closed so that the next person if his or she is going to open it you know they should not be seeing it on the read only mode right because the point is that if everybody uh, if you have a 10 team members 15 team members and uh, out of those 15 team members six has six you know have already opened the file trust me excel will be dead right so making sure that excel remains active only for one minute or maybe for 15 seconds maybe for 20 seconds right that you can do that you just need to program the thing okay so um i write here pl uh, 
as you know that the PL is there and then let's say Neha also applied now Surinder closes this file and then Neha she opens and she also wants to apply for this she applied it she filled it fine she closes it and then Arjun comes and he's gonna apply for it and look at this the moment he applies the quota for the PL is already done for the day reach out to your manager for further clarification right so this is how guys you can actually make in this data validation and i'm just going to copy this i hope it is going to work alt e s and use the validation because i don't want to paste the values and now let me have the quickly check here so you can see it's working right so in this way you can build this now you may be you know uh, thinking that what if if somebody opens and deletes the some someone else you know pl file well that's why i said guys that uh, if you if you develop it in the excel vba then it you can actually do a lot of stuff you can control the things right uh, but because surinder has given me this format so maybe i mean you can't really uh, i mean you know uh, when you when you when you think of any project you have to think of your audience as well so if 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 there is a zero possibility of anyone you know modifying or editing or removing these pls then i think this is this is a very good very very simple plain you know a tool a uh, kind of i can say summary dashboard uh, which you should use right but yes uh, in this case also you can do a lot of stuff you know for example you can tell your people that once they applied for the pl uh, or maybe you can do you can still uh, in the background you can say that if somebody you know uh, write PL and it is allowed for example then an uh, email should go to the manager automatically that is also something you, which you can do right so if email goes to the manager uh, that will be a record that will be a testimony that you know the person applied for the leave on that day so there is no question of removing the leaves nobody can do that right so this is how guys i mean you can set up all these things and um, maybe in the coming videos i will be talking about that if you do any changes or if you apply for the leaves you know then how you can send out the emails that would be i think very good option but for now this is simple a data validation trick and we just said that you got to allow the count if output as long as it is less than and equals to two if you want to increase the quota you know that you can simply remove this number modify this number and if you are looking for some another leave slp you know you just need to edit this part and that's it right so i hope uh, this solves your purpose and um, in case if you have any queries uh, anyone has having any doubt you are free to comment and i will wait for your comments and guys as always i request you to subscribe to the channel wish you all very very happy to year and Definitely we will be back discussing something more on the Excel. Thank you so much for watching.